is linear Linux. It's is senior Linux. Well, I don't know I've been doing a bit of research online. And senior Linux appears to be a, a Linux distribution that is based on Gen2, and I believe it is one of the, if not the first uh, Gen2 based or portage based uh, immutable OSs. So what we're going to do today is take a look at this and how to get this installed. And after going through quite a lot of these uh, links, only to discover that a large portion of the installation is it isn't like a normal distro. You first, I believe, actually need to uh, run it from another live CD. Uh, not change ironically, it doesn't have all the libraries. A uh, bit of Fedora ISO, then from the Fedora ISO, run the installer and run all of these steps. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So let's uh, start it up and do a new virtual machine. In this case, I'm going to have to choose my Fedora. I just chose Fedora. It's that workstation. So you can keep it Fedora, that's fine. I'm going to give first just over 8 gigs of memory, 8 CPUs. Uh, let's give this 100 gigs of space. Uh, and this is supposed to be Xenia Linux. And let's finish it up. And start it up. So we start it up from here and then we install Xenia from here. So I go to terminal. Can I get pseudo privileges? Okay, I have pseudo privileges. So the first thing I need to do is can I actually copy this? Okay, so that was silly of me. I need to do a double get here. So just copy this and paste this and just take this out. So we've got a time to get uh, change directory. Okay, so we're trusting to do an unzip on the installer main. Now we need to go into the installer main directory and we need to go sudo main.py. This is from the stock country school bar systems. Please, if possible, enable UFA. All pulls it back. Okay, I've recreated this thing again, uh, but this time under UFA instead of Norman Bios. So let's do this again. Okay, so entering into active mode. Press enter to accept the defaults. Enter the value for drive value options are so to be dev VDA. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to choose BT RFS default. Press enter to continue. Commenting routes and route J2, downloading root image. So very interesting take on a, a distro here. Looks like it's going to start to uh, and it's doing its install right from from the side. Uh, I must admit couldn't find too much more information really online on Xenia, except I believe uh, version 0 0.4 does have voltage uh, abilities, now which it didn't have before. So, uh, and then we pause the video and assume it once it's moved on to another step. Okay, so it, it uh, says its installation is finished, no problems found. 
So I guess in theory I can force this all off. Go to Sasha Run, make sure there's no Sasha Drive there, and start this up. Cat's help to boot, access is denied. That's a casing at this first. Continue. They set. Well, it is a prototype, so. Who knows? Now, but what optional device was found? Let's double check this. For anyone that's interested, I'm actually just decided to go and redo it again from scratch. Um, just to see if maybe something went wrong the first time, but uh, I double checked. I definitely gave it the right drive. I've definitely get, picked up at the fat. And the beta of signature is how it's formatting the drive. Starting to install it again, so... Yeah, let's see what happens. Yes, it will. Hallelujah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Do I forget somewhere? Uh... Yeah, and Kess was actually looking at the more automated uh, install guide, which has to go into Gen 2 and doing a lot more work. So I'm glad for this far. Which the default password for Buster Root and Senior is Electron Password. Sheesh. Oh, that's such a password. Don't make. Eight, seven, nine, X. Okay, first thing I'm doing, changing password. And then this, so change the senior account's password as well. Uh, to something, quite frankly, that's a bit more manageable. Except, we put accent. Just going to do a quick reboot quickly. And then we can get uh, really started up. Okay, perfect. So, by default, settings. Can I change appearance to dark? Okay, there we go. So, we've got... About okay, senior Linux Vlog Spyland 4.441, and the kernel version is Gentoo. Cool, okay. And if I go to software, software repos, uses flat hub. So, I guess the idea here is since it's immutable is basically gentle, immutable, and that the idea is to use flat accent. Okay. Yeah, don't think that's a bad idea, actually. Um, let's see if I can emerge anything. So there's a yes, near fetch installed. Near fetch isn't, so... Diana nice sudo. Okay, so sudo. Emerge. Near fetch. Okay, what's going on here? Can I just change to this account and see what happens? All is completely. This portage completely. 
say it before me. Emerge. Okay, it's not a symbolic link or problem feedback from us. Okay, your current profile is invalid. If you have just changed profile configuration, you should change. So allowed actions are limited to emerge, near fetch, search. So nothing, okay. Emerge, sync. This, okay. Probably, I probably should have done this first. I think this is great. Um, I know a lot of folks aren't necessarily fond of bombing me with destroyers, but I do have a soft spot for them, though. Again, there isn't much documentation really around this distro at the moment. So it'd be interesting to see what I can or can't do. Um, and it's definitely using Jane 2. Which is weird. So we use Jane 2 very seldomly. Uh, so much so it's a distro I really want to get some more into. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's still busy doing what it needs to do there. Just want to check. Is it really much applications to go through on this? That as well. It's pretty, pretty linear. Clean. Uh, in all honesty. So. Okay. We've, we've done this. So, can we go merge? You know, fetch. Calculating dependencies is actually going to work. But. And um, let's open up a different terminal window. You know, fetch. And that did for I think. Why? I oh, shouldn't have read the message. One or more files installed to this package are set to be installed to read only file system. Please mount the following file system as read, write, and retry. User. Okay. Let's see how they set this thing up. Okay. So if you want something, it's going to have to be a different way on how to actually unlock it. Uh, in here. So if I want any software here, I'm going to have to. I don't think, yeah, there's no flat pack for that. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. We can at least go over VRC and see if this works. All right, give it a few moments. How to install options on Xenia, backpack for GUI applications, distro box for terminal applications, portage for system applications that need to be installed on the root. Okay. That makes sense. So this is kind of, this is, ba so this distro is actually the Gen 2 version of vanilla uh, OS and uh, a few others. Okay, so the use of portage is not covered here as it's experimental and Finches users can enable user overlay by typing mouth. Okay. Well, we got to meet less users. Go back to terminal. Okay. If that is not gonna I'm still on near fetch. It says this is still in near fetch now. So 
Let's try this. Okay. Still set fail, so I'm going to close that one over there. And the new one over here. That great success. Yes, so this is what Linux is about. Being able to customize what you want when you need it. So, this is great to see. Great to see. We have VRC here that's installed. Uh, Neo features installed in the root. Uh, let's just that. Uh, it's nano installed. Yes, it is. It's Emacs. Okay, so I just want to test it again. Emerge. Uh, Emacs. Ah. Let's see if me. Pseudo Emerge. Emacs. Let it do it. Okay, this is really, really great. So, this is OS4, so I want to try a bit of an experimental uh, portage type OS um, that's, you know, meant to be more mutable. I will really give this a shot and really try it. Um, you know, remember you're supposed to kind of send the guidelines of using your your GUI apps, uh, flat packs, and your distro box for your CLI apps and just stay away from the root. Because the more you play with the root of a mutable system, the bigger chance you have a break in the thing. So, like what we've done with uh, emerging. Uh, but again, I suppose if you were to configure it to automatically mount the user's directory and change one or two things. This could be a, uh, uh, how do I put that, an easy way to uh, install uh, a Gen 2 based OS, I suppose. Uh, I'm sure a lot of folks might not like this idea of that. It's not the Gen 2 way. Oh. Certainly different, but I suppose you could configure it to, to do that. So you're already using into kernel so and it does have um, portage so if not why not and um, once this thing is finished uh emerging emacs i'm gonna give it a quick boot and we're going to see if neo fetch and emerge are emacs are still installed be interesting uh to see that okay so i'm just gonna go reboot Pseudo reboot. And see what comes up. Near fetch. Ah, it's still there. And so is Emacs. Okay, cool. So, yeah, folks, if you want to play around, try this. Uh, Distro, why not? Um, really great fun here. Could customize it to get you all the way to having a change your system installed in a different way. But Jim, as always, folks, thank you for watching.